Hi everyone. How you all doing? Is it all good? I've had some internet issues, but probably they are sorted out already. So it should be all good. Yeah, also code forces seems to not be responding. Sometimes. Not sure what's going on. Hopefully it will be back soon. So yeah, uh, once again, today I will be doing Snark New Summer Series 2022 Round 2, which is a series of five short contests that are virtual. And The contest is 80 minutes long, it will have six problems, and hopefully I will solve them all. And no, I'm not planning to discuss today's contest. Uh, what is my time zone? You can see it on the screen. You can see my current time on the screen. All right, I guess I'll start in a couple of minutes. Yeah, she have some hardware issues. Hopefully it will be sorted out soon, too. Yeah, I, I saw that the round was unrated. Yeah, uh, I will not discuss the Code Forces round, at least today. Maybe I will make future streams discussing previous rounds. But today we will focus on the competitive round I will do now. Yeah, regional contest tomorrow too. It will be sad if Code Forces is down during it. Alrighty. Let's start at... Okay, 41. Give me one more minute to... Uh, when you get my paper, right? Not iPad. iPad is better for explanations, but it's not good for using it myself to think. Yeah, and as always, I will translate the problems into English. Automatically. So that you can read them. Even though the problems are in Russian originally. So it will be a bit unclear sometimes. I mean the problem statements, but it's fine. Okay. Let's start in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two. Okay, actually not. Actually register now. But okay, whatever. Let's just start. Come on, let's go. Okay, one minute, okay, 40 seconds lost, that's fine.
I don't know, this problem looks like just the implementation, but I just don't understand what it is asking. Yeah. What's that login? New techniques and work them out. Okay, I guess. What's going on? I mean, can I even understand Russian? I guess I guess the problem is just um List one is zero, then mentor is dissatisfied and I guess this is pretty weird. I don't understand this problem. What's going on? Let's just submit and see. Okay. Lost a lot of time. Mm. <laughs> and even got an answer. What's going on? Yeah. to zero horrible start horrible start <laughs> what's <laughs> Test seven now. Really? Oh, wow. Okay. This is just... I guess this is the actual problem statement then. Okay, yes, the problem statement is 
like correct. But to be honest, okay. Um, Whatever. Okay, I guess this is just solving the system of linear equations, I don't know. No, it's not linear equations, right? The least number of battles. Less than 10 to 8 battles. Okay. So, yeah, it's just matrix, I guess, then. Starts at the first level. Okay. Uh, let's use one doubles just to be sure. Okay. Okay. So n minus one is just winning, right? Right. Okay, um, right, let's change. Right. 
correct this case. Create this. Okay. Um, Oops, now mm. I I is equal to one and then mm. Yeah, so I find the smallest power that is enough for me. And then... Yeah, it's not good. Um, check the person is okay. And now, yeah. I probably don't need full blown matrix multiplications here, but. It's probably. Good enough. Wait. Mm. Yeah, probably like this, and now. If it's still smaller than P, then add this and go and print and plus one, maybe, probably. No. And what's going on? Like, uh, why do I not get? It's still empty without. Okay, whatever. Let's see. Okay. Wait also by the problem statement and it's from nine and in the example it's from seven, right? Nice. So everyone is solving C and E. Okay. Infinities. What's going on? What the hell?
What? Can it multiply matrices or what? Yes. Why don't I get runtime errors? I don't actually get it, but whatever I guess. Oof. Okay, let's just submit. And then we'll see what what happens. E and D. Okay. What is problem E? Octagons. I don't really like. Okay. How to solve E? I have to count octagons. But like at least one side, all angles are equal, so all angles angles are 135 degrees. A tree of our vertices. Each number is maximum in the sub three. Okay. Take a look at number n, right? And number n or like n minus one will appear only on the ends 
on some paths. And we, the root is one of these ends, right? So we can only have two roots at, at most. We can just check them all, check them both. And then let's just do, let's do what? Just DFS, I suppose. Okay, and how do we do it? We can just do DFS, so we know the values in the leaves in each, in, we know the values in some of the inner vertices, and then uh, we know the limits on the values in some other. Hmm. Okay, value. Hmm, not zero, but root. So if maximum is greater than our value, then it's just fine. Otherwise, if maximum is equal, otherwise if maximum is, is equal to AB, then then what? Then. Um, We have a limit in this vertex. It can be any value up to maximum minus one, for example. Minus one is a bit sketchy. Maximum is good. And otherwise, we actually know the value. So if the value is actually already used, then it's just fail. Otherwise, we know the value. Okay. Now what? Is it still hard? Do I need some data structures or what? Oof. Oof, oof, oof. I need the smallest permutation that satisfies some conditions. Actually, do that.
Čtedu. I need to sign numbers. Yeah, I mean, I, I literally need some segment three, really? No, I don't think so. Just go from right to left, I guess. Yeah, I guess it should be good. Okay, uh, J. If you use then do nothing, otherwise use the set as empty, then fail. Otherwise, value of the biggest element should be I, I think, and just remove. And what next? If not fail, then best is no best and values. Okay, let's see. Could be correct. What's that continue? Again, continue instead of return zero. Interesting. Okay, lots of examples. Let's just submit. Um okay, what is problem E about? Is the stream back up? Hope so. Is it? Okay. Problem D accepted. Yeah, sorry for the issues. Once again, like I need some octagon. Wait. Yeah, like this. So it can be any rectangle. I guess it's just nothing can go wrong, right? If I always move in the right direction. OK. 
working. Um, whatever. I don't know how large the answer can be. Probably not that large, but. One minus one, one zero, one one, zero one, minus one one, minus one zero, minus one minus one, zero minus one. Okay, so Okay, the signs should be correct. Okay, and new dp of j plus equal to dp of i. Swap dp new dp and wait. Ah, I have to finish at the same point. So it doesn't work said Ooh. Well, I have a different idea, but like, why is everyone solving this problem? Is it easy? I guess, but I don't see it. What? Okay, let's just read A. Hmm.
Okay. So I have a permutation like this or like this. Okay, let's say like this. And I have some sub, some different permutation and they want to yeah, see if I have a subsequence which corresponds to this pattern. Hmm. Interesting, doesn't seem easy at all. I guess let's just read B as well. Stable expressions, okay. Okay. Okay, I guess I have to solve E in any case. What am I missing? I have to count octagons. So, yeah.
Yeah, don't really see it. Like, kind of have to find the number of cycles of length eight where the edges are all counted from one to eight but like cycles that's the problem hmm i can solve it in an cube how to solve it faster I have one vertex, I go to vertex 2, I go to vertex 3, I go to vertex 4. But like... Hmm. I really don't see it. I can't flip over the bounding box. Like 5,000 points, but... Mm. Also, like for vertices 1 and 3, there is, there is a unique vertex 2. But for vertices 1 and 4, 2 and 3 can like be not unique. I'm just leaving. See you. Okay. Actually, I did not leave. I'm back, but I have no good ideas yet. What's going on? In problem E. Like, I actually. Yeah, I'm missing something very obvious. Like. Hmm.
have this problem, I have this problem. It's vertex, it's vertex, it's vertex. Mm Okay, why is the answer six to this example? Yeah, it's easy to see why it's six. Just help me? Not really. One, two. Yeah. Should I solve B or what? <sighs> Maybe? So I just do GP of the last war. So I have at most 500 different words Can I have a song from one word? Probably not. 
can I really tell? Like the state is my last stable expression at most 250 of them times how many letters I have used, which is 500 times two times where I am in the automaton once again. Like it's literally it, right? I mean, is it too slow? Can I make it faster? Wait, like, isn't it already too slow? Yeah, I think it is already too slow. Because 250 times 500 times third times times what? Times 600 states and also like transitions. Yeah, it has to be too slow. Also 50 test cases. How can I make it faster? I don't understand. Anything I can do? bad Sweet five after seven. Okay, let's just try. So basically, <sighs> I have vertex one, vertex five, vertex three. Hmm. 
Mm. What is the easiest way to implement? Okay, I don't know. Like, it has to be too slow, but what? Like, NQ power 64 is the best I can do right now. I just don't see how to speed up at all. I guess I should just try. So, uh, what's the best way to implement? Say I have vertex 1, vertex 3, vertex 2, like, mm. It's it has to be too slow probably. Three seconds, but like really? Five, six, seven, eight.
Something like this. Yeah, probably not this part, but anyway. Um, whatever. Probably this part. Hmm. Yeah, still too slow. Um. Yeah, not even close.
Yeah, I have four minutes, but I don't think I have. Any ideas? I don't think I can speed up my NCube solution. I don't think I can route the N square solution. But there should be one. Mm. Okay, I have an idea. Why am I so... Okay. Three minutes, I guess. Um... Yeah, like... Like I can obviously do this in faster than and square. What the hell? Recommend this. Um, okay, D zero uh, sort. Uh, one I should sort by y and then by x okay and two I should sort by oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, x, I, x whatever x i y i and now here just negative probably uh, and here Oh, uh, no. Oh, my God. Mm. Okay. <sighs> Let's finish this problem.
Signum. No. Um. Yeah, I still have to fix it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hello, everyone. I guess. I'll take a look at the chat now. Can't even solve E. What a noob indeed. I mean, this has obviously been a pretty sad stream. Not a great one. Oops. Sorry. Yeah. So. Um, I guess it was, it could be helpful for people to realize like, Um, what was that, Kevin? What a shame. Okay, 12th place, I guess. Let's finish my solution to E. Um, But yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, realize for thousand traded people can struggle too. Yeah, I think that's what I wanted to say. And yeah, I obviously struggled a lot, even with the first problem, but then I couldn't just treat it correctly. It was fine, like. Like, it's obviously easier to read it in Russian, I think, just because, yeah, in English it's pretty weird, but, yeah, like, people succeeded to read it in English as well, so I guess it's just my problem. And then, yeah, I solved C, it was okay, I think, and I solved D pretty fast, I think, also reasonably fast, yeah, I think it's fine. I don't know about like E. I, I, I yeah like why I don't know why I spent so much time figuring out how to speed up DP. Like I, I didn't even think I could do one transition in linear time, and it just means I can do it in linear like in square time overall. But actually, like yeah, can you share your solutions to E if there is anyone in the chat? Because yeah, even my approach, even my n square approach is pretty. is pretty complicated still, I think. More complicated than what would pe people would do. Uh, how do you know I was calm? I, I Like, I was not too calm. Like, I don't have a heart monitor, but, you know. I was pretty pumped, but it was just not good enough. Oh, let's see. Mm. Yeah, it seems it's all wrong. Like, I only have once. To just get wiped out. Why does it happen? Oh, no. Yeah, I see why. Because other direction. Okay, it's six now. Yeah, it works now. Okay, let's submit to make sure. 
Yeah, it was pretty stupid. I don't know. This is your after contest. Okay, let's just take a look. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, I guess. Judging just by the code, maybe my approach is even easier than yours. So you have yours is n square log n, right? But mine is n square. The bits can be removed. Maybe, yeah. Hmm. Just rectangle sum. Okay, so you basically count k okay, by diagonal, left count, right count. Yeah, okay, mine passes in like 1.6, which is half the time limit. Let's mark it acceptance, at least, at least now. Not very clean, but this is yours. So you're actually suggesting me to read Rust code on stream. Okay, okay, got it. Yeah, but this is the same as mine, I think. It's the same approach. Okay. I guess it's just my issue then that I couldn't come up with it quickly. Yeah, I think it's just the same. Just a bit clearer because uh, I was typing my code in three minutes quite in a rush, so I had some not so pretty parts like this. But yeah, I just had to type it as fast as fast as possible. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. It's a, it's a, it, like I, I don't have issues with this problem. It's a good problem. I just got blanked out. Anyway, yeah, if I had two more minutes, I, I could get it accepted. But then even if I get it accepted at the end of the contest with two run submissions, like I get 120 more penalty, so I just get to 9th place from 12th, maybe 8th. That's not much of a difference. So the question is also about problems A and B. Because in problem B, you can do, like, probably just do the DP but it's probably also too slow. Like, the problem is pretty weird. I, I didn't see whether you can have at most one, like, whether you need to have at least two words, but I guess you have to. And then... Like, yeah, let's just see for problem B. Like, yeah, I thought you can just do DP of, uh, okay, let's say last stable expression ID, uh, number of letters. I mean, length of the used, I know length of the current text in letters, uh, whether I have already mentioned any names in the text, and what stayed in the, once again, like in the last round, currently at 
which is 250 times 500 times 2 times 600, I guess, which is reasonable. What's that? Like it's already 150 million. Also, we have 50 test cases. I don't know whether they can all be maximum, but that's what I can have. And but then I also need two transitions. And how many transitions can I have? Like probably square root of 250 on average. If, for example, all pairs, all, all stable expressions are like this. Yeah, I can have 250 transitions. Like, yeah, square root of 250 transitions from each pair. So this, the product of all these numbers is definitely too large. Yeah, sorry, by the way. My webcam was hiding a bit of a text, but it's fine. Sample includes something with one word, does it? Mm. Let's see. I'm not sure what you mean. Like, the question is whether the text, like the song, can consist on of just one word. In the example, I can have x name, x namey names the names yes yeah, so just names right yeah so i guess you can use just a single word but it should be one of the words from the input which is also not mentioned in the problem statement probably but yeah if that's the case then just yeah last word id here like yeah i still have 500 words and like yeah number of transitions is uh yeah sure like i don't need yeah, that was kind of stupid of me, I guess. You don't need the last stable expression ID, you only need the last word, and it's always better, just because you don't get any transition cost, just like, yeah. So yeah, the complexity becomes just this, and then times 50 test cases, then probably that's fine, right? Like, if not all test cases are maximum. And also not all 600 automaton states are reachable for a specific last word. Yeah. yeah, that's also a good point. If I have some word, I can only reach some subset of states. Yeah, I guess that's about it. I was thinking at some point to switch to B, like when I had 25 minutes or so, I was thinking about just switching to B just because I needed to solve two problems to like win or get a like better place, a much better place than what I had. I had to solve five problems and yeah, but I didn't switch just because I still didn't have any idea for E, but maybe if I switched and then got back. Also, yeah, I, I, I just didn't figure out like the number of states is high, like it's not too high. I just saw that it is like the number of states is too large and I just cannot do this DP and maybe I need something better, but apparently not. Anyway, and what about problem A? I actually didn't, almost didn't spend any time thinking about it, but it doesn't look easy. Like you have a permutation, which is, which has at most two, exactly two, exactly two local extrema. Right, so, and we need to f find out whether there is a subsequence which maintains the given relative order. <laughs> what can you do in this problem? Uh, 
like you also have to maintain relative order between like different parts like you have an increasing part and then a decreasing part mm, maybe just kind of greedy but like no i don't know uh if you just want to solve it in polynomial time then pro like maybe we can just uh loop over where we cut the subsequence like which prefix of the subsequence belongs to the first part of the permutation second and third which is already in square but like if we just want the polynomial time solution maybe we can do this and then we still have to figure out how to assign values but probably then you can do greedy so maybe probably that's an cube solution can you do much better like obviously you can but I guess I don't need to find the split, still do greedy. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty tough. Anyway, I guess I have to wrap it up, wrap up the stream. It has not been really successful. But we solved three problems and then we also solved one problem. So that's four, which is also a good amount. Um, I will not type problem B now. I feel pretty tired already and I still don't know about A. For B, if the special patterns are B, A, 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 C, A, A, A and the word A, you have around 600 times 500 times 250 times two transitions from here. Almost none of which can be ignored. And that times 50 cases. Yeah. Probably you can construct a test case, but like, yeah, it's pretty likely this problem is not meant to have 50 cases like what you described. But yeah, I, I see your point. Like, that's also like, that's a thing about the old ICPC, probably. Like, the very old ICPC world finals problem sets don't even have time limits in their problem statements and number of test cases, I think. So you just have to do kind of the best you can. And then when you get time limit exceeded, then, you know, just optimize. But yeah, that's pretty much a thing of the past. But I guess it still happens sometimes that you don't have the maximum number of the maximum of the very worst test cases just because it makes no sense sometimes i don't know this is life at the moment but i'm wrapping up can we expect a code horse stream soon yes you can but i cannot give you any definite schedule i will see later anytime i want to make to do a code force stream or maybe any other stream i will just put it here so i guess what you can do if you want to not miss my streams is check code forces and yeah i usually would do streams after the rounds but the next round is in six days so maybe i can do a division two stream at some point and also follow me on Twitch to get notifications about future streams, like instant notifications when the stream starts. Yep. I, uh, yeah, Facebook Hacker Cup also had stuff like that. Not this year, but before. Well, I mean, it still has this thing somewhat, right? Because you still don't have all maximum test cases, but you have some limit on the total value of N, right? And here you don't have any such limit. But yeah. Um, I'm not planning to participate in lead code contests yet. Uh, am I considering opening up Discord channel? I did not consider that, but that is a thing to consider. Yeah, thank you for the idea. I will see okay 
thank you everyone who is still here thanks for watching once again don't forget to follow and see you all in the future at the very least in five days there will be a stream of snark news series round three at the same time in the same place bye